Okay then, hello and once again, good evening YouTube, welcome back. It's over, championships decided pretty much unless something crazy happens in this race. Dale Jr. won last week, Stewart leads by 50, I'm, I don't even want to talk about that. It's homestead time, one more race on this stuff and then we'll have some fresh stuff for Daytona. Another car rating of 84, so the same as last time, which is neat. I would call that neat. That would be the word that I would describe it as, neat. But we're at Homestead. This is a track that I've always sucked at. Kyle Petty has always been my closest competition here. I expect this to be no different. Let's go. And I think that's a call. Yeah. <sighs> that might be how the rest of this game goes. Now we're just going to get poles every week, but what you're going to do, Stewart started on the pole until I beat him, and Labonte's back in ninth, so Welcome it's really just a formality at this point. It's highly unlikely that Labonte's in it, well, unless, of course, I wreck Stewart on the first lap, that's also, that, that, that would make it definitely possible for uh, interesting stuff to take place as a result of that, but you never know. And we're three wide. That's fun. Labonte's coming. I mean, he's going to give it a shot. He's going to hit him with your best shot, baby. You know what I should do? Is I should... Oh, God. I should drop back here and just drap with Labonte this entire race. Honestly, that might be my best recourse here. Let's just drap with Labonte. Let's do everything in our power to get him to win. I just want Bobby Labonte to be a champion in my playthrough. That's it. That's where I'm at in life. He's going to need to get to the lead and lead the most laps if it's going to happen. But we can certainly try. Alright, so, um, this is way harder to do on Legend Difficulty than it is in Rookie. I spent, you know, several days just chilling, playing this game casually, trying to get to, trying to do the Casey's Angel, and that is way, way easier than this. I, honestly, what I could do is just go up ahead of, of Jimmy and just drive around him and slow him down. What is he doing up there? What the fuck is wrong with you, Johnson? I could just go in front of him and brake check him, but uh, a little lazy and I'm afraid I'll screw it up anyway, so. But yeah, this is a lot easier in rookie difficulty because I guess probably what it is is that your car is just so OP compared to everyone else's that, that, it, that it can just, you know, drive around these guys like, like so. Like, I mean, I could pass all these, all both of these guys and just drive off at this point. That's really where we are in this game. Like, the car is actually good enough to do that at this point. And this isn't like Rockingham, where the leader is impossible to get by, you know? I mean, this might be the closest that I'll ever get. And I think Labonte might be. No, he's not pinning, but that was... I mean, yeah, that's as close as it's getting. That was right there. That was as close as it was going to get. Because now I'm falling back, so he doesn't have as much, nearly as much drafting help from me. Yeah, and he's going up the track for some reason. And now he's going to wreck. Okay, that's all, and I'm gonna wreck, all right. That's also not, okay. So I'm upside down, um, not really sure what to say. Rusty's now a 60 for no reason. Whoever that is is a 60 for no reason. That's Harvick, well, then his season's gone downhill, to say the least. There were, there were like three, why? There were like three people that pit there, they're gonna be the leader. There's Rudd, he still hates me. 
And now my car is undrivable because it's destroyed. Well, that was certainly an interesting set of circumstances. I hope Labonte's still the leader. Ooh, and that piece of the car fell off. Well, we're gonna get a new piece when I come down Pit Road, so... Yeah, I was upside. Yeah, um... I've just kind of... kind of run out of things to say about this game at this point. It's just kind of been... a mess. Would be a good way to describe it. Well, we're about to find out who's all coming down pit lane. I think everyone's going to come down, to be honest, except for those two that stayed out. But they're going to be a lap down, actually. They're going to be a lap down as a result, so never mind. They're not going to win. Oh, there's a few people that are staying out. Hopefully one of them's Tony and one of them is not Bobby Lavani. But I bet it's the other way around, so. Just change everything. Hey, Casey's pitting. He's not going to screw himself over out of a good finish for once. Cool. Go, Casey. You know what, this this is the only way that the final race of this shit show of a season could go. This is this has just been an absolute fucking clusterfuck of a playthrough up to this point, so this is the only way this season could have possibly ended. Where is is Stewart or Labonte anywhere? I know Dale Jr. is, he's not gonna let me get a top five in the points if it if it's anything he has to say about it. Jimmy Pitt. I don't see Stewart. I don't see Labonte either, so. They must have both stayed out. Live by the sword, die by the sword. Harvick might still win this championship. Oh, God. Yeah. Fuck me. No, Harvick did pit. Stewart and Labonte stayed out. Wow. Okay. I have no idea who's going to win the championship. I don't know if they're going to... I don't know if someone's going to stay out or whatever. I don't know. This is going to be stupid. All I, that's all I know is that this is going to be stupid. Casey's going to get a top 30 in this race. Maybe a top 20. No. There were 13 cars that stayed on the track, so they're going to have to pit or run out. So Casey, and there were a few guys that were a lap down, so I think Casey is guaranteed a top 20 right now. Oh, and a caution came out. Well, that's going to change everything. I have no idea how this is going to affect the outcome of this race. Well, where'd all that speed that I had earlier in this race go? Where'd that race winning pace I had? Where is it? Why am I 27th right now? Alright, well, I should let this play out just to see if anyone pits here. Yeah, I could not think of a better way to finish this season off. Like, this has just been a fucking mess. This has been a mess of a season, so. It's only fitting. It is only fitting. I don't know, maybe these guys can make it on fuel now. Maybe they can make the distance. I don't fucking know. No one pit. Stewart's still the points leader. But he's st they're not going to make it. They're not they can't. They can't. They cannot possibly. There is no way that they're going to make it on fuel. What am I doing? Why am I blocking Casey? Okay, I'm still blocking Casey. Perfect. There's no way they can make it. Okay, please don't hit me, Rusty. Please. I said please. Don't. No. Kenny, slow him up. Kenny, please be a roadblock. Please be a road. Okay, we're gonna die. Alright, so that's another 60 right there. Cool. Necessary. Necessary is what I would call that. Yep, thank you. That really needed to happen. They can't possibly make it. They can't. There's no way they can make it on fuel. They're staying out. What the fuck? This is not, this is not okay. They can't make it. There is no chance. Oh my God, they're gonna, they're gonna go for it, aren't they? No, someone's pitting. No, no, they're not pitting. That was just someone real. No, there is someone pitting. Wait, is everyone else going to stay out? Of oh, that's Tony! Oh, that's Tony! Oh, that's Tony! Oh, the championship! Oh, what have I done? Oh, no! That was Tony! No! Fucking why? Stop! Every fucking time at this fucking track! 
Oh, Bobby Labonte is the champion if he can make it on fuel. Don't. Oh my fucking god, this is so stupid. Everything about this is stupid and I hate it. Everything about this is stupid and I hate it except for Casey. Go, Casey! Go, Casey! Go! They ran out! I'm catching them, they ran out! Oh, they're wrecking! Oh, I'm wrecking! Everyone's dead! Casey's dead! Oh my god. Yeah, I fucking wrecked because this game's stupid. Race is over. I didn't even get an option to pit. Well, I have no idea who won the ch Bobby Labonte second, I think. Yeah. What button third? What button third? Casey didn't finish 21st! No! What happened? What happened in this race? What the f- Where- Why is- Where's Stewart at? He's fucking 30th! Oh my god, dude. What the fuck happened? Jeff Green 8th! Oh, where'd Dale Jr. finish? He finished ahead of me, so I ain't gonna get sixth. Oh, I'm so done with this shit. I'm so glad that we're going into a new season so I can stop playing for a while. Oh my fucking god. Bobby Labonte's the champion, I think. That, he's definitely the champion. He, he gained way more than 50 points there. So Kurt wins his first race of the season at... Ford 400. Bobby Labonte's the champion. They just swap spots. And I finished sixth. My god, dude. It's just... Congratulations to your 2005 NASCAR Nextel Cup Series champion Bobby Labonte with a 30 top 10 season. Alright. Okay. Dale Jr. wins nine fucking times. Stewart seven. I don't even know. This is the best case for the chase so far in this playthrough. Look at all these rivals that I get going into next season. That's awesome. At least Bobby looked. See, he kind of likes me. Well, um, I'm team management. We shouldn't do anything yet because we got to go through the transition here. Unless I need to make a shop dish. Nope, not yet. So, well, there you go. Rusty Wallace retires. Replaced by Chase Montgomery, Kevin Grubb retires, which, I mean, Kevin Grubb replaces Dale Jarrett. And Ricky Rudd's done. Finally. Fucking finally. Ricky Rudd is gone from the series. At least I finally beat him in the, uh, at Watkins Glen, so we're not going to change anything here. You know, we're easily going to win this championship. At this point... We're easily going to win the championship next season. We have top 10 pace at every track. So why don't we... Why don't we make things interesting? Why don't we make things interesting? 100% races. You know what? Let's fucking do. I'm going to regret this. I'm gonna regret that. No, 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 no. Turn on yellow flags. Oh, wait, that was career tips. No. Yeah, okay. That's right. Normal damage. We're gonna die. <laughs> Fuck it! <laughs> Save that shit! I can't turn back! What the fuck have I done? Oh, no. Oh, no. You know, I feel like I've done a lot of dumb things in this playthrough, but that might be the dumbest. That might just be the dumbest. All right, well, that's a new season. Um, so, the gameplay settings... Oh, I can change it if I want. I guess that's after the first race. Well, fuck it. <laughs> Never mind. I haven't made a bad decision yet. It's only when I start. It's only when I start. All right, so how's the team looking? Everyone got fired. Okay. All right, so we'll keep the 82 guy... Zala, that is a quality name right there. I've never seen one. I'll skip Bayless's brother's back. He's gonna do that, I guess. Uh, Dowdy, the Dow, the T Dowdy, the T Dowdy twins. I picked the worst one of them. Keith Urban's brother is going to be on the uh, rear tire. All of these guys are new. <laughs> um, I guess we'll have the best Jack. Yeah, let's get the best Jack man possible. 
I think that's a smart decision. Let's get the best Jackman possible. I like that idea. We're going to do Mastin next. And the Catch Can guy. That was the guy that I had last. <laughs> uh, this guy is kind of honestly better. So M. Walker. Now, Crew Chief. Jon Snow's back. He's going to stay. Miller. Yeah, he's the best. Okay, I'll pick that guy. Uh, M. Brown. He's really good now. These guys are really improved. Teal. Teal's. Yeah, he's really good. Okay, well, that was a good decision. All right, cool. Uh, the sponsor. No, I mean, the shop additions. That going to happen at some point. How's this going to look? Overhaul is going to do nothing. Okay, well, never mind. I thought it was going to be a lot better than that, but I guess not. Okay, that's a, uh, that's a chassis, uh, thing, but if I actually, I'll do, I'll get an 82, 84, 82 for nine races. That's better than everything I got now, so I should. Yeah, I should do that. Yeah, let's do it. Then I can make a new one immediately after the shop edition's built, so there we go. Yeah, that's a good, I think that's a good decision. Um, can't do anything on that. Just repair it. And the best one of these that we have is an 8680 versus what we could get, which is an 8881. Yep, definitely going to get that. I'll buy in on that. Thank you very much. Repair this. I can actually improve this one. That's just how much teal improved over the off season. We're probably going to win the Daytona 500, so we're going to get a big boost of money anyway. 8480 versus what this will be. 8281. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we'll keep that one. The body's not important. The body's probably the least important part of everything. Um, our sponsors are going to be around for half the season. Yep, all the sponsors will change at the halfway mark of the season. Unless I get fired, which I doubt, because these are some easy expectations at this point. Yeah, um, this will be interesting. This will be an interesting season. Um, not just that I just made every race 100% length. Not just that. That is that is an interesting tidbit. Uh, it is a caveat to say the least. But um, yeah. Um, I think we're gonna call it a day. So. But you know, you know that we can't end this part without showing you how it's gonna look next season. Well, thanks. As a way of saying thanks from Bobby Labonte, he's going to give us. A special treat. Oh man, what happened? What happened? That's right. Truex got fired from his old team because they expected a championship in season in season three, so he got fired. Which means that he has gotten picked up by Booby Labooty Racing. Yep. <laughs> Gonna be driving a Pontiac for season four. All right, cool. In any case, thank you all so much for watching. This has been season three. I was supposed to get the championship here, but I didn't, <laughs> obviously. But I'm. It's, it's almost a guarantee that we were gonna get the championship next season. Well, let's just make things a little bit more interesting. Let's do 100% races. I don't know if I'm going to do them live or what. I think that'd be cool to do live streams of the 100% length races, but hey, we'll get we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. We'll see you next time. Bye. Shit, right? The cutscene faded out and then like a nuke fell and everyone went flying. <laughs> it's just totally perfect. Yeah.